Hey everybody, Sean Bukowski here. Hope you're all having a great weekend and staying cool. Gosh, we're so, this is June, so I mean, I shouldn't be surprised that it's a thousand degrees outside, but I guess we're in the heart of it now and it's here to stay for a while, so might as well get used to it. Hey, I, there was an article this week in Data Dallas that really kind of struck me. I love going to the movies. Um, I go as often as I can, and so uh, when I saw this article come out that Alamo had shut five of its uh, its five locations in Dallas, I thought, oh boy, because um, I know about the struggles that the movie the movie industry is going through, um, and so I wanted to, you know, kind of look, look through it and talk about it a little bit. Um, first. I think it's important to realize what happened. First of all, the the franchisee that runs the Dallas uh, uh, locations declared bankruptcy, and they and they declared Chapter Seven, which is liquidation. Uh, and so they are shut. They shut down immediately in the middle of the week last week. Uh, all five of their of their uh, locations. Now Alamo Drafthouse, the parent, the, the franchisor, came out pretty quickly and said that they were disappointed and that. They hope to reopen those uh, pretty quickly, and and it's a franchisee franchisor relationship. And in during bankruptcy, I didn't really understand how that worked. I'm not a bankruptcy attorney, um, and so I called my good friend Jermaine Watson, fantastic uh, re- bankruptcy attorney up in uh, in Dallas, and he kind of explained that you know the franchisor really has uh, title and, and 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 liens on all the property, and they kind of run the means of production there uh, through the franchisee, usually. Not always. It wasn't speaking specifically about this case, because he doesn't know about this case, but just in general. Uh, and so it's, it wouldn't be a shock to him to see Alamo be able to step in pretty quickly and put in a new operator. And usually the uh, trustee, the bankruptcy trustee, will go along with that because it's it's a good deal for everybody. Uh, and so it's quite possible then that uh, that uh, Alamo, the, the franchisor, will be able to put in a new operator and get those uh, five locations in Dallas up and running again. Uh, I think a, a, a more interesting question is what what do we really mean for the sort of movie theater business as uh, going forward? And you know, I mean, anybody in retail knows that movie theaters are have generally been really good anchor tenants, right? Like they they, they really can and they take up a lot of space and bring a lot of people to the area um, but the movie industry is changing and I'm not an expert in this area either uh, but it's maybe something we should talk about but with the movie industry changing with people watching more at home uh, what does that mean for the future of retail and and having anchor tenants uh, w- with a cinema I guess it's something uh, to leave for another day hope you enjoyed it have a great weekend please follow us on our YouTube channel and our weekly blog and our podcast thanks a lot